Hello, welcome. Today I would like to bring up a very important animation which is often overlooked in PowerPoint. If you would like text to be colored from left to right, there is a little solution here in PowerPoint. Let me show you on your new text. You can go to animation, you can open up the entire animation panel, or you can even select more emphasis effects if you want to preview all, and you want to find brush color. If you click on this, we will get this animation. But as you can see, this right now is pretty fast. Let me put it as the first animation. So what you can do to slow it down, you can either make the duration longer. As you can see, it now slowly fills out the letters. Let me maybe delete this one. And the second thing you can do, you can enter this, this box, double click on the animation. You can go to its effects. And you can either choose to animate by word, not by letter, and you can select uh, the duration which it will take to go from one animation to another. <clears throat> Usually you want to stay this percentage at low, but I can raise it to 6%. As you can see, this extended the animation. So the animation goes now slower. What I would do if I would explain something, I would just double click, I would go to effects, and I would select by word okay i would keep it at six percent and this animation resets then but we can simply go to the duration raise the duration again and this time as you can see the words appear slower how can this be used in real life in real life usage here i have a very example slide if i would for example Mm, I teach you a language, I would have a course about about language, about just explaining any topic really. So I have here a very example animation. I'll just play this slide and if I would like to teach you the same sentence in a few languages, for example, or explain a concept, I would say to you that in English, and now I would click my mouse, it's called I will teach you animation in PowerPoint. And I can preview how quickly this animates. In Polish, if I would say that in my native language, I would say nauczę cię animacji w PowerPoint. This would be the equivalent. And the same sentence in German, I'm again waiting as I click my mouse and I can preview if it's not too quick, not too slow. Ich werde dich animation in PowerPoint lernen. And I saw it's a tiny bit slow here. So what, what I can do, I can just take this last animation and either lower the duration a little bit. I think this would be a, a, this would be completely fine. Let's just assume that I have three of those sentences. I would delete those animations. I would work on the first animation. I would give it the brush color. I would double click here. I would go to effect. I would select, of course, the color. I would select by word. Here I am at 10% because else it was too quick. I would select OK. And since those sentences are so similar, I was just going to animation, animation painter, and boom, painting that over. Selecting this, animation painter, and boom, just like that. This is how you can, for example, use the brush color effect, which is often overlooked because people do not really use those emphasis effects because plenty of them are really cheesy, this teeter or something. It's, it's nothing special, but those can be really used wisely and make your presentations or content publishing more immersive. Thank you very much for listening to this tutorial. I hope this will help in your business and in your presentations and everything you touch. So hopefully you can use that. See ya.